one of the biggest uh, contraptions here this year is this fantastical roller coaster. Tell me about this. So this this roller coaster was based on a design by some fellows from Holland, uh, Brickride.com, and they posted a video of their roller coaster and the tracks and how to make them. And I looked at it and I thought, oh, that's got to be easy, which is clearly a mistake. Um, but basically, it's all standard Lego parts. Um, there's one piece of long wire that isn't Lego, but everything else is totally Lego. Um, there's about 200 hours of effort. I think it's 200. It's a bit of a blur um, in, in this. Um, and cl- it's really good because we can actually get the kids to interact with the display. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So just excuse have, have me a go, minute and I'll... Making it start, hop under, hop under the rope, mate. Put your hand. You see those two orange eyes? Put your hand like that in front. That's it. You started it. Then pop under. Now there are one or two um, little quirks in it, so there's a little bit of manual interaction. Uh, for example, I have to stick my finger under the chain each time. The angles aren't quite right, but it's um, oh, it's um working sufficiently smoothly now to make so it work. So it's pretty much a work in progress, isn't oh, it? Oh, very much a work in progress. It's been changing all weekend. Um, it's, if you have a look at, there's actually um, a spiral sitting in there, which we had in the loop on Saturday, but um, it just would lead too much speed and wouldn't make it all the way around. Um, so it's been fast and furious work at the end of the day, each day to try and get it going. Today is probably the day that it's been running the smoothest because we've been able to actually get it to go over the top without a little helping here. A little nudge. Right, Let me next. next guy. <laughs> the best part about this is the interactivity with the kids. And uh, they're really loving it. Put your hand sideways. There we go. <laughs> so had you had another week, what would it have looked like? Probably similar, mate. It's, um, <laughs> Because of the size of it, it's not the kind of thing that you can easily build at home. So I'd built parts of it at home, um, but it really came down to the down bit is going to be the challenge. It was a challenge at home. I did actually try and mimic the Brick Ride's original design, and they've got some amazing bank curves in the loop. And I tried doing that, and I just blew the track apart. And that's why I then attempted the spiral. I think it'll be a work in progress. Um, next year's show, hopefully, it'll be a bit less stressful. <laughs> just, just a tweak in the physics. Well, and every, every, of course, everyone from the lug coming along and offering advice on how to, <laughs> how to what you need to do. <laughs> much appreciated, everyone. <laughs> Let me just get oh, the next one. Awesome. Next All right. Okay. Thank you very much, okay. David. So come along uh, to the Brick Show, check out the roller coaster. Come along next year and see how far David gets in making it work. Flawlessly. Thanks, David. Thanks, mate. That's it. That's it. And then pop back under. And a little bit of a help here. <coughs> and the magic finger to make sure the chain works properly. Yeah, we can have it to the moon. That way, from this moon. This way.